Let's see if that works. Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'll give it a couple of seconds to log on. Sorry, there's like all sorts of craziness. Hi, everybody. We'll see if the live, we'll see if the live works. I'm not sure I've never, never gone live directly from my office before. Hi, Georgia. What time is it? Oh, it's like perfect time. Hi, Georgia. Hi, everyone. This is not alcohol. This is um, uh, Pellegrino. Flavored mineral water. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. So... Tonight is a little bit of a different type of a live. Um, and the reason being is it's the night before the first day of the month, which means I have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to be here. Um, I'm going to be here kind of late this evening. I'm sitting on the couch. So what you're seeing in my office, you've never, I don't think you've ever seen this side of my office. Um, you're sitting on my desk. So in that direction, if you've ever seen my office, that's where all of the shoes are. And then behind me is... Uh, what I normally see when I'm sitting at my desk. So my TV, my beautiful new lamp from Kara, my lava lamp, flowers, um, that uh, beautiful flowers, um, my uh, Trick or Treat. This is Sam from my one of my favorite movies, Trick or Treat. Uh, you all know this guy, kind of where it all began. So yeah, so I thought maybe we could do a fun little Q&A this evening. Maybe like sit and chat for like a half hour. Um, do a little Q and A, uh, ask me some questions if you have some questions. Um, and, uh, yeah. Soon going live here really quick. Okay. So Rob was just asking when I would be, um, when I would be coming home. So I answered him on my watch instead of trying to mess around with my phone. So, I thought we would do a fun little Q&A. Um, tonight is the final night that, uh, the final night that um, the warehouse sale is happening. So the warehouse sale, sorry, I have to swipe up his message. The warehouse sale ends tonight in literally an hour and a half, the warehouse sale ends. Um, so uh, give or take, hour 45 minutes. So. If you wanted anything from that warehouse sale, um, go uh, scoodle and skedaddle over and grab it. Um, I'm trying to think of fun things that I can show you that are in my office. This is my up. This is one of my favorite pops. This is the up house. Isn't that cool? Um, so does anybody have any questions? Any? I mean, you can ask me whatever you want. Um, it is not a tin ceiling. So there's a surround that goes around, um, and I would show you, but there's too many secrets over there in that general vicinity of my office. So um, it's it's like a um, corrugated tin that goes around the top, but my ceiling is actually black. And the reason that I did it that way is because it was so bright in here at one point in time that uh, the black ceiling absorbs a lot of the light. And it's, it's really like, I guess it's kind of cohesive for like designing and things like that. Uh, I knew when I built this office that um, I could, I literally started from scratch. I mean, there was nothing in here. There was no flooring, no walls, no ceiling. It was all dilapidated and falling apart. So I knew that um, I had the opportunity to make it exactly the way that I wanted it to be. And um, that's really what it is. So no, they are uh, black ceiling tiles. Yes, did you see that new photo play penny? It's good. Uh, there are quite a few things that actually already sold out that we had to remove from the website. Yes, yes, yes. So does anybody have any any questions? Anything you've ever wanted to know about designing, about um, owning a paper craft company, about, I mean, ask me whatever you want. Uh, we'll stay on for a little, stay on for a little while, uh, and I would love to answer, answer some questions for you. I haven't done a QA. and a uh, in a really, really, really long time. So I thought it would be fun uh, to do a Q&A. Hi, Seal. Oh, it'd be kind of fun. I know that, oh. So you can see the ceiling actually, it's so new in here still that the ceiling, um, the ceiling still has like the plexiglass, <laughs> the plexiglass or the, it's like a, like a plastic thing. 
Christopher, having too many secrets is stressful. We're your friends here. We cannot keep any more secrets. Oh, well, this whole wall over here, so this whole wall over here is like all of the stuff that's coming. So I can't show you or tell you anything about that yet um, because it was, it's, there's a lot of, I mean, and they're not like secret secrets. It's just things that, um, you know, uh, do I need an assistant? I always need an assistant. <laughs> I would love to have an assistant in Pittsburgh. Um, I think I saw how did, how do you get started in the business? I, um, kind of fell into it, I guess you could say. I started working with Cricket. Um, most of, I think a lot of you actually might know me, uh, from my work with Cricket. I worked with Cricket, uh, for a long time and I wanted, I wanted more, uh, out of the industry in the respect of, I wanted kind of my own brand, my own products. Um, so I designed a couple of stamps and here we are six years later, six years later. Um, it is not finished yet. It is not finished yet. No, unfortunately the lumber prices, the lumber prices started to soar a little too, a little too quickly. Uh, how are you talking? uh, 22, 22. It's a lot of people, huh? 22. Uh, so yeah, so I kind of, I guess kind of stumbled into it, uh, but I love every second of it. I, I mean, there are, you know, some days that are stressful because I mean, owning a, owning a, a company could be stressful, but I, I love every day, every day. I love it. Judy, yeah. Well, it's, we're, it's probably gonna be 26 by the end of the year because we have lots of positions opening up. We actually need to, we desperately need to hire a graphic designer. So if anybody knows of any graphic designers looking for work, send them my way. Have them email their resume to uh, Christopher at Um, No, Georgia, Rob is the complete polar opposite of crafty. Um, if he were given a pair of scissors, he wouldn't be able to, he wouldn't be able to cut his way out of a paper bag. He is the least crafty person in the whole entire world. And I think that's why we get along so well because he has no crafty vision whatsoever. So he just lets me take care of all of that. Oh, Lori, that would be great. Yeah, we're actually looking, uh, we're going to be hiring retail staff as well very soon. We are going to be hiring um, some retail staff very soon as well. Didn't you say something a while about making your own embossing folders? Yes, Amy, we should have embossing folders coming out, I believe, in July. I think July is when we'll have our first embossing folders. They're, it's it's going to be like a Christmas preview. <laughs> are the folks who help you oh hold on let me move this over a little bit so i can see the comments like it's hard to see them because they hold on hold on i need like a little tripod for here um no the people that work at the retail store are not the same people that pull the orders um we have a whole fulfillment team hi kara uh the whole fulfillment team uh is who pulls the orders now i will tell you when we have a massive do you love these pillows i know i'm i know i'm completely off I know I'm completely off topic here, but aren't these the greatest pillows ever? And look at this one, spider webs, and they match my couch in my office perfectly. Um, but anyway, uh, so we have a whole fulfillment team, and then we also have a whole, uh, you know, the retail people and stuff. Uh, but I will tell you that if it becomes overwhelming, like it has the past couple of days, and, and overwhelming in a good way, uh, if it becomes overwhelming, the whole team, all hands are on deck. Um, I know that a lot of the team members were helping this week to pull orders um, because it was... Um, it was, there were a lot of orders this week. We were very, we were very, very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. Um, yeah, the cuckoo clock is right there. Maybe I'll show it. Um, we'll sh I'll show it at like 10 o'clock, how it goes off. So we have, uh, I need nine, I need 18 minutes worth of questions. <laughs> I need 18 minutes, um, 18 minutes worth of questions. And then I'll show you the clock. And that'll be kind of how we, how we end the, how we end the live. I think that'll be, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Oh, look at, I have these on my desk. I love these new, the new, have you all seen the new, um, 
the new containers for the sequins. I love them. What advice can you give someone who wants to break into the business? Uh, Judy, the first bit of advice I can give you is don't give up. That's that's the big thing. And I know that's, you know, on mugs everywhere, blah, blah, blah. But um, do not lose your genuine self would be, would be I think, the number one thing. I, um, at the beginning of my career, I wanted, I, I felt like I needed to do things because I felt like people wouldn't, um, wouldn't like the ideas that I had. Um, it is Penny. Um, the, there's a, there's a rainbow box in June too. Um, so the, uh, I would say never lose your genuine self. And I saw your question, Laura, I'm keeping it in the bank for after I'm finished with this one. So never ever lose your genuine self and never ever ever lose your um your your sense of you know what you want to design and what you want to do uh it's 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 not an easy industry to break into by any means uh but once you find your niche you're you're good to go uh laura your question uh it depends there are some things that we have planned nine ten eleven months in advance even a year in advance and there are some things that um i do a month in advance um for instance the stamp of the month Generally, I do the stamp of the month about a month. Uh, well, I used to do it like six months, but now I do it about a month because I come up with so many new ideas that I'm like, oh my goodness, I really would like for this stamp to change to this, and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but like enamel pins for the boxes, um, we do, oh goodness, probably like a year in advance. Um, we, we do, we know all the themes a full year in advance for all the boxes. Um, but it just, it really depends. Um, the die of the month, I can tell you, is always about six months out because it takes so long to get them manufactured. Um, relax. Woo! What do I do to relax? Um, I like to shop. <laughs> I love to shop. Um, I don't get to do it as often as I used to because of, you know, the, the whole COVID world and things like that. But I like to shop. Um, I like to cook. Cook is one of my favorite things. Um, uh, one of my absolute favorite things. Um, Judy, actually, I dropped out of college. Um, I, um, I, uh, dropped out of college. I didn't like it. I didn't like school. I hated school. School wasn't for me. I was bored. Um, I started my degree, uh, to be, uh, I wanted to get a graphic design degree, but I was never, ever, ever, ever happy. Um, I was so far advanced in, in college because when I was in high school and other kids were, you know, learning things in high school, I was studying design. Like there was no, I was obsessed with design. I was obsessed with how design worked. I was obsessed with how programs worked. So when I got to college, I was bored because I already taught myself everything. Um, taught myself everything that I uh, could ever want to know. So I actually dropped out of college. So I taught myself pretty much everything about design, but um, I'm kind of glad that I didn't allow um, something to mold me. Uh, I, I just basically started working right away. I, um, instantly had a career and that all of the jobs that I had up until this point being a CEO uh, really is what helped me become a CEO. Um, what do I do to, what do I, oh, what do I do like to relax? I mean, again, I like to cook. Um, really, the, I love to hang out with my dogs. I play video games. I'm obsessed with video games. Um, so I play a lot of video games in my spare time. I like movies. Um, it's weird and I can tell you it's weird because the first three to four years of owning Brutus Monroe, I was always on full tilt because I was always worried about the company, um, something happening to the company. And I mean, always in the back of your mind, you're still a little worried about something that could happen you know, to the company. But um, being able to sleep at night knowing that the company has, is taken care of and the company, you know, there's, there's you know, checks and balances and things like that now, uh, that's really, what really helps me relax is knowing that the company is sound, um, yeah knowing that it's sound. Um, we are thinking about expanding uh, Sherry. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be Georgia, um, although Savannah, Georgia is a place that I have looked at many a times, many, many a times. Um, but uh, we're, we're looking at expanding, but not out of the state just yet. Uh, we, we are expanding. You're, there's gonna be a big announcement in June. A big, big announcement in June, which I'm very excited about. It's been, it's been a year, a year in the making, this announcement. So, um, I mean, it's not like a crazy announcement. I think I've already kind of talked about it, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna, we're definitely gonna be expanding. We, 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 the company is expanding as, as a whole. Um, period. It's, it's just, uh, um, 
we're growing and it's exciting and it's uh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I say that all the time. Uh, but it's uh, kind of, you know, playing catch up now, catch up with, uh, with the expansions. Catching up with the expansions. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. So what other questions do you have? How do you come up with your business name? Oh my goodness, Sharon, that's one of my absolute favorite questions to answer. Uh, so uh, Brutus Monroe is actually named after, what did I just do? Is actually named after my miniature pincher, Brutus Monroe. Now, uh, Brutus Monroe is no longer with us. He uh, was a miniature pincher. Uh, he was rescued actually from dog fighting. He was a bait dog. And I won't go too far into what a bait dog is because it, it, it will upset you, I'm sure, just as much as it upset me. Uh, but essentially, a bait dog is what they use in dog fighting to throw in um, to, to make the dogs more aggressive. So it's, it's a dog that they attack and ultimately um, the, the dog that's the bait dog passes away because they... Uh, it's, it's, it's an aggression thing. So I rescued him uh, from dog fighting. He... Um, well, actually, I'd like to say he, uh, I like to say he rescued me, uh, but uh, I rescued him. He was at a place called Angel Ridge, and uh, it's in Cannonsburg, like Washington, PA, Pennsylvania, where I live, and uh, I went to the place. Um, I didn't see that last question, so you might have to post it one more time for me. Um, <clears throat> they go so quick on here. Um, so I went to, to a place called Angel Ridge because I wanted to adopt a pup. And um, the creator training event is virtual. Yes, Anna. And it's going to be so much fun. Uh, so I went to Angel Ridge. I saw him. He was all by himself. He had his little bandages on because he was just literally just rescued like weeks ago. Um, and uh, when I came to see him uh, at the place, he um, didn't want to talk to me, didn't want anything to do with me, was over it, was done, was just like, just was like, you, you can rescue me all you want, but I want nothing to do with you. So I brought him home in Angel Ridge, which is a no-kill, like it's like a big farm that they have these animals. They said, you can take him home for a couple weeks. And if he, um, if you can't get him to, you know, to, to hang out with you or you can't get him to mesh with you, because um, it was just me when I adopted him, um, then you can, you know, you can bring him back and we'll, we'll figure things out. Um, so we try, I got him, you know, the little Caesar dog food. He would come out of his dog cage. He would pick it up, the whole thing with his mouth bring it back into his dog cage and he would eat and wanted nothing to do with me. So one night I fell asleep on the couch and when I fell asleep on the couch, um, there was a thunderstorm. I was watching a scary movie because I mean, I'm one of the only people I think in the world that enjoy scary movies during uh, thunderstorms. Uh, but I was watching a scary movie and uh, there was a big clash of thunder and the lights went out and the, the actual, the clash of thunder and the lights going out in succession are what actually woke me up. And when I woke up, I looked down and Brutus, little Brutus Monroe, his, his first name was already Brutus. I gave him the middle, middle name Monroe because he already had a name. So I wanted to give him a middle name. I know it sounds crazy, but um, he was under my arm. And I said, well, look at you, you little son of a gun. You wanted nothing to do with me and, except to come out and get your food. And now you're laying with me. And it was almost like he had to wait until I was vulnerable to make sure that, you know, that I was, you know, safe and I was going to be his dad. Um... So then fast forward many, many years later, um, I was creating the company. I was creating the company that is now Brutus Monroe. And uh, I didn't want to name it after me because I was like, oh, there are so many people that have companies named after them. What can I do that would be cool, um, that would have a really catchy, really different name that people would remember? So uh, Brutus became ill and he... Um, I always say, are you saying the name Ben? Are you always this energetic? I am always this energetic when I'm talking about Brutus Monroe. <laughs> I am always this energetic when I'm talking about Brutus Monroe. I am never this energetic when I'm ta talking about things that I don't like. So you'll always know if I'm talking about something I don't like because I'm not like this. Um, so uh, Brutus Monroe became sick. He became ill. And uh, I took him to the vet. And he was um, he was in rough shape. I mean, he was in, he was in very... Uh, very, very rough shape. So I took him to the vet and I'll never forget, I was holding him in my arms and he was, you know, shivering and he was, um, he was in rough shape. And I remember looking down, looking down at him and I said, you know what, little Brutus Monroe? I said, um, if you make it through this, I said, if you make it through this, cause you're, I mean, you're very sick. If you make it through this, I'm going to name my company after you. Hi, Shannon. I said, I'm going to name my company after you, you little miniature pincher. And um, 
I said, because you are the strongest little thing that I've ever met. I mean, you survived dog fighting. You've survived so many things. Um, I, I feel like you should name your company after something strong, or you should name your um, you should name your company after something that is going to persevere. So we get into the vet. They take him back. They do the blood work. They do, you know, the urine test and all that stuff. And they come bring him out. And he's wagging his tail. Happy as a lark. And um, <clears throat> they tell me that Brutus Monroe is diabetic. So I learned that day that Brutus was diabetic. And for the next four years of his life, uh, he was administered insulin every single morning. Um, but uh, he came wagging his little nub. Because miniature pinchers usually don't have a tail. They have a little crop tail. Wagging his little nub out of that vet's office almost to say to me, well, I mean, you now have a company named after me. <laughs> you now, you, you, well, I'm going to be better. I, I, you know, we found out what's wrong with me. I'm getting better. So when does, when does the marquee go up that says Brutus Monroe? So since that day, uh, I've always, it just, it just made sense to me. And, um, oh my goodness, Lori, uh, no, yes, uh, they, the, uh, from time to time I hear that, but I, I really, you really are a part of my family. You really, really are. Um, oh, good. Thank you, Penny. Um, so that's, um, it's, it's, it's a big part of me every day now, you know, with the, the name of the company, because what I knew he was going to pass away someday, obviously, <clears throat> all dogs do, unfortunately. Uh, but when, um, when that, when he did pass away and it was, it was, you know, uh, it, we knew it was time and, you know, so on and so forth when, when he was, it was time for, time for him to be laid to rest. He, I knew that I would never have a day without him um, because everywhere you turn in this space, in this building, this big, fabulous, massive building says Brutus Monroe. Um, Brutus Monroe, they, every time someone answers the phone, they say, thank you for calling Brutus Monroe. Everybody wears shirts every day that say Brutus Monroe. Uh, so I knew I would never have to spend a day without him if I named my company after him. So that's, I hope that answers your question. Um, Mini Monroe is great, Georgia. Um, to any of you that don't know, Rob purchased me uh, as a surprise. Um, a new miniature pincher. Um, a new miniature pincher. Thank you, Anna. A new min pin uh, <laughs> for my birthday two years ago. I had no idea I was getting her, but I was very excited when I did. Um, and her name is Minnie Monroe. So um, Minnie Monroe is our new miniature picture, and she is a cuckoo, but we love her dearly. And uh, I forgot what it was like to have a young miniature picture, but she is just a joy. And the Minnie Monroe studio, which is connected to Brutus Monroe, is named after her. Um, so she had to have, you know, the same middle name to, to carry on the legacy. Um, the biggest challenge of owning a company and being a CEO. So I would say the, the greatest challenge every day is time management. Um, you want to do everything and you only have about this much time to do it. And at least that's what it feels like. Uh, so my time management has turned into uh, like part electric, like part uh, like a calendar on my computer, uh, as well as part uh, like I write things down. I have a tablet on my desk. I have multiple tablets and a planner. So time management is... Um, probably the most, the most difficult part is, is time management. Thank you, Sherry. Uh, that's the most difficult part. But, um, other than that, it's, it's a lot of, um, enjoying team meetings. Is that the hardest part, Heather Collins? <laughs> is that the hardest part of my job? Um, uh, Scowling can make an appearance when I pan the camera over in a couple of minutes to show you the cuckoo clock. She can. She's sitting right there. And I mean, she just turned her head when she heard you say her name, Michelle. So she's, uh, she's ready. Uh, that, oh, team meetings are a very interesting part. Yes, they are. They are an interesting part. I mean, I, I, and I say this to all of you all the time. I am the luckiest, luckiest guy in the world. I have the best team in the world. Um, do we always agree on everything? No, but that's what makes a good team. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you know, figure things out together and bounce ideas and stuff like that. And, um, I wouldn't trade my team for the world. I am so fortunate and so lucky to have them. Um, and it's, I, I love going to work every day. I love being here. I love being a part of Brutus Monroe. And I just am the lucky guy that got to start Brutus Monroe. So it's like, I'm lucky that I got to start it, but I'm also lucky that I get to work her every day. And it's just, I just, it's, it's great. Um, 
but yeah, it's, um, it's really cool. It's, I have a really cool job. I have a really, I have a really, really cool job. Um, I've only been around for a month and I thought Minnie was your mom. Oh no, my mom is Sharon. My mom is Sharon. Right. When is the announcement of the addition to the inspiration team? Uh, Judy, it just, I think they just started going out. So if you apply, check your email. If you applied, check your email. We're actually going to pan over in about a minute because I want you to see how cool this cuckoo clock is. The care got me. I really admired what you have built. I love watching your company grow. Congratulations. Thank you, Laura. It's been a lot of fun. It's, I mean, we've had our ups and downs and, you know, things like that, but it's been, it's been fun. I mean, I can't say that it's, it's, um, there's ever been a dull moment, but I, I really love what I do. I really do. Wild woman, yes. Minnie is a uh, wild woman. So is my mom. My mom's a wild woman too. She was here today. I thought she was going to jump on the hoverboard. My mom does work at Brutus Monroe. She works here two days a week. She retired early this last year. And um, she now works here. Two days a week, yeah. And we love having her around. She's so funny. She brought all my staff coupons today. This is my, this is my mother. She brought my whole staff today coupons, like like little, you know, like clipping, coupon clippings, to all of their favorite places. Or places that she thought that they would like to go. Like, that's what my mom, and I mean, she brings snacks. She's, she's, she's a delight to have around. She really is. So, all right, so I'm going to pick you up. Um, I'm going to pick you up and show you. All right, hold on. Let me flip you around. Um, it's not hard to ride the hoverboard. I love it. Uh, she's good. She's good. Okay, so here's Scowleen. And here's my ATC that sits right by her from Mary Landers. Uh, so here's my cuckoo clock. So my mother, Kara, I have to tell you, my mother is so obsessed with this cuckoo clock. She is, I mean, she could not get enough of this cuckoo clock today. She... I mean, she was sending pictures to everyone. She was sending pictures to family members. She was sending pictures. I mean, anyone that would receive a picture from her today, she sent them a picture to show them this cuckoo clock. I mean, she, it's, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful cuckoo clock, and I can't wait till you see what it does when it turns uh, 10 o'clock. But she, so you can see down here, this little pendulum. And I mean, it's just, the detail is just beautiful absolutely stunning. But now I want now, of course, Kara has turned me into a monster because I want the other one now. There's a Christmas version, but you can, it doesn't start shipping until July. So, I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. And it scared the bejesus out of Kara today because it goes off every hour on the hour. And she didn't realize that it did. And I wasn't here. I do have a cricket plushie. Yes. I wasn't here when it went off. And oh my goodness gracious. It was quite a hoot. So uh, this is, and I'll show you, I mean, it should go off literally any second now. Because I think it's like one minute past, um, one minute past what my, what my watch says. So we'll give it one more minute and then I'll show you, I'll give you another quick little, we'll, we'll do a quick little, there it goes. So zero pops out. Isn't that the coolest thing you ever saw? Um, yeah, so she goes, yeah, this scowly glows in the dark because this scowly glows in the dark. I always see it when I turn off the lights in the office. So a quick little tour without giving you too much of a tour. Um, these are some beautiful, beautiful diamond paintings that I actually have to get framed um, that Miss, I believe it was Ann, I, it was Ann Robson. I'm almost 100% certain that made these for me. Was it? Look at how beautiful there's two of these. <clears throat> Um, you can get it on the Bradford, Bradford Exchange or Bradford Collection, right, Kara? So, oh, I have to be careful with those. I'm pretty sure it was Ann Robson that made those for me, right? Anyone? Does anyone know? Hello, Simon. So, this is the one part of my Funko Pop collection on this side of my office. And then, oh, Ann did get them. Okay, good. And then, uh, so here's where I keep all of my snacks. This is my snack stash. This is my snack stash. 
And then, uh, so this is my jacket. This is my jacket that I wore for the, um, for the fifth anniversary party. It has like something like 100,000 sequins or something, so it's displayed in my office. Then here's my other Funkos. So here's kind of a look of both parts of the Funko wall in my office. So here, oh, Kara, this is the first time you're seeing the whole thing, huh? So this is this side. And then when you pan around, well, here's my hoverboard. It's charging. Um, here's some more things. Actually, there's quite a few other things that Kara, that Kara uh, got me here. Um, and then here's the beautiful, um, incredible lamp that Kara bought for me as well for my birthday. And then here's my Swarovski Chuck Taylors. I wore these for the very first Creature and Ending event. What is the last day for? Oh, it's for uh, the um, promotion, for the, um, for the warehouse sale, for the warehouse sale. So these are my Swarovski, my Swarovski Crystal uh, Chuck Taylors. Uh, this is also from the Bradford, uh, or B Bradford, what is the name of the care? Bradford Bedford Exchange, Bradford Exchange, something exchange. Um, and then here's some more things. I think Kara got this for me too. I can't remember. Um, this I got when I was at Made at Con one year. I love this. It's Thomas Kincaid, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, here are some of my favorite cards that I have received. Um, there's a picture of me and Rob cheesing. Um, this is my card from Lily. Bradford Exchange, that's it. Here's my shaker card from Lily. Um, what's over here? Uh, garbage that I have to take out. Um, here's a whole bunch of other fun things. Um, here's a whole bunch of, uh, so these are pins from Disney. These are pins from Jeffree Star, and these are Brutus Monroe pins. And some of them, maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe this one, are all uh, sneak peeks into uh, boxes that are coming. Then over here, I'll show you this really from afar, so you really can't see. So here's, here's the conference room table that is always a mess. It's just always a nightmare. But over here, um, I'll show you this real quick because you can't, there's Collins, see that? It says Collins and those are her strikes. Michael puts her strikes up on the board every day. Um, so this is the stuff that you really can't see. Um, that's, it's far enough that you can't see it, but that's how all of like the sequins and ribbons and stuff happen. Um, I'll pan down, oh, this was a wonderful gift I got from Michelle Rainey today. Thank you, Michelle and the Girl Scouts. Thank you, thank you. This is the gift from them today. Thank you, Michelle. I just remember when I just saw it. Um, and then this is my rug. I love my circle rug. Uh, this is the up house and all the stuff. And then um, these are just my car keys, boring. Uh, my Jonathan Adler coasters, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Uh, they, she gets strikes whatever she, when she acts up. <laughs> it's just a, a running joke. A running joke at Brutus Monroe. Um, here's my Phantom of the Opera snow globe, which most of you know is uh, one of my absolute favorite Broadway shows. Um, here's my, that's my desk, which is also always a mess. All sorts of Chuck Taylors and things always all over the place. Um, here's my couch that I was just sitting on while uh, we were chatting. Here uh, is my favorite sign on my desk that says, nope. And then here's probably one of my absolute favorite parts of my office. Every day that I come in, I look at this big wall of shoes, and this is how I pick out what shoes I'm going to wear for the day. So I come over to here, and I look at all of these shoes. Um, and this is a, probably about half of my Chuck Taylor collection. And I pick out a pair of shoes that I want to wear for the day. So I normally don't wear them outside. So like you can see, I wear my Nikes normally outside. Um, but yeah, and then I have some like backup shoes, but yeah, so I get to pick out, um, I think this is one of my favorite pairs right in the front. See, they're like, they literally, I don't even think they have dust on half of them. So yeah, that's my wall of shoes. Luckiest guy in the world. I told you luckiest guy in the world. So here's, uh, I guess here's a fan of my, I mean a fan, kind of a view of my office from this side. Oh my goodness, hold on, Carolyn. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to scroll up. When did you... Oh, thanks for allowing us to ask you anything, Christopher. You are a bright light that brightens the end of the day when we're, you're on. Thanks for shining. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Carolyn. You are too kind. You are too, too kind. 
Um, yes, you did get me this warmer, and I and I burn it every single day. And there is a green, um, there is a green. What's it called? Um, there is a green scent, and this is my Dyson fan that I'm obsessed with. Um, there is a green scent that you got for me. That if anybody knows where I can get that green scent from Scentsies, it was like the Jack Skellington scent. I need more because it is my favorite scent in the whole entire world. Um, oh, it's this one. It's, it's called Jack's Obsession. I only have one left. So if anybody knows where I can get this specific one, please let me know. I mean, I like this one too. Um, this is the Halloween Town one, but this Jack's Obsession, oh my goodness, it's the most delicious. I don't even know what, it's like apple and something. I'm I don't know, but this, I would love this for all, all year round. Thank you, Alice. So yeah, so this is my office. So let's take a look at, do you wanna see what you, like what's outside of the office? Um, so when you walk out of my office, this is, if you ever come to, and this is the Christmas tree, that will always be the Christmas tree just because I love Christmas so much. Hi, Maria. Um, this is my mailbox that I rarely ever um, check unless it's like an emergency. Uh, so this is, um, the waiting area, right outside of my office. So this is where my office is. So this is the waiting area. Um, I'm not gonna show you back there because there's way too many secrets back there, but this is, um, I guess I can just show you a quick peek. It's really, it goes by, it goes really far back. Let me turn on the light real quick. It's just gonna be a real quick peek. Ready? Bink, bink. That's where everything gets, that's where everything gets manufactured at Brutus Monroe. Um, we have a TV in case folks are waiting. We have this special um, little, thing that has USBs in the back for if somebody needs to charge their phone. Excuse me. My mother got me this because she says it to me every day. And I live by this. Always stay humble and kind. Uh, and then here's our um, top most popular Instagram posts. So I had them made um, into little, little picture things here. Isn't that cool? Um, okay. So let's, <clears throat> let's walk out here real quick. Thank you, Simon. So if we walk out here, you do, Simon. So first of all, this is our big parking lot in the back. We just had these lights installed. It literally looks like daylight out there now. Anyway, so let me turn this on. So here's our original create and ending rug that we don't really use anymore. It's got stains on it. It's down here in the basement. Um, but here is, um, so this is like, we're, so let's pretend you're coming in for a meeting. So hello, I'm here to see um, Christopher Allen, so you would walk in here. Uh, to the right is the kitchen. I'll show you that in one second. To the left is our directory of staff. We have Lisa, who is our director of product development and manufacturing. Office of the CEO is me. The kitchen, the loading dock is all on level one. Level two is the retail store, Mini Monroe Studio, laser production and fulfillment. And then level three is um, retail, um, and subscription office, and then the operations office. And then up here, we're not going to go up here, but all the way up here, um, if you go up this staircase, you can kind of see that takes you to the retail store, that takes you to fulfillment, um, that will take you to laser production, that will take you to Mini Monroe, takes you to all that great stuff, which is um, really, really cool. So then in here is, ta-da, Cafe Monroe. So this is our newest addition to Brutus Monroe. Um, these are the lockers for the retail staff. Out there is the loading dock. This is our kitchen. Um, so this is where we all, well, we hang out more now because we've all been vaccinated. So we can all eat together and, you know, it's much easier now. Um, but yeah, so this is our kitchen. There's a TV in here as well. I just taught Heather Collins how to use it the other day. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is, um, this is our kitchen. This is Cafe Monroe. It is. And those are my balloons still for my birthday. So I wanted it to be, um, isn't it cool, Carolyn? Um, I wanted it to be, and that's like our info board with all the info for the staff. Uh, but over here, I wanted it to be, um, I wanted it to be a full kitchen. I always wanted a full kitchen uh, in here. We had an almost full kitchen, wouldn't you say, Heather? It was almost a full kitchen in our first building at 1077. Um, it was about a quarter the size of this. Uh, but I wanted it to be a full kitchen because I want, when we have brunch, I want to cook you brunch and I want to do, you know, I want to do all that. So 
Uh, so that's why we have, you know, the full oven, the, you know, the whole shebang, the, this beautiful refrigerator with all the, yeah. Uh, and then I'll show you real quick. So this is the loading dock. Nothing really all that exciting. Um, but this is the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of boxes are all here. Thousands and thousands of boxes. So that's it. That's the tour. That's the, that's the nickel tour. And someday we'll, I'll take you upstairs and show you. eBay has Jack's obsession. Okay. What is it? Is it like $7 million? It's probably really expensive. Probably. And here's just a whole bunch of Brutus Monroe dies that are just ready to go upstairs. The Rose Corner. This is not a toy. Well, to some people it is. To some people it is. And then I love that you can see orange in there uh, when the lights are off because that light, um, that, um, what's it called? The, um, the fluorescent light never gets turned out. So hi, everyone. <laughs> mm, oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to have to get it. $10 is, is doable. I think that's what like the retail cost was normally. All right. So you can see the ceiling tiles that still have the protective stuff on it. So that's, that's it for tonight. Um, I wanted to come on and hang out with you and do a quick q and I appreciate, I appreciate you all asking me questions and keeping me company. Uh, I have to get back to work because again, when the clock strikes midnight, um, it's a whole new month of subscription products at Bruce Monroe. And I, I sure am excited for you to see what we have in store for you um, next month. I can tell you that it is certainly going to be out of this world. And I think you're really going to love it. So uh, thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you uh, for taking a moment to take a look into my uh, world uh, that I love oh so much. And um, I'll probably see you all Monday is probably the next time I'll see you. Um, if I, I mean, I might jump on tomorrow, but I'm not sure. So thank you all so much for being a part of my life. I appreciate you all. Remember to create something every single day, uh, whether that is a really cool beautiful, uh, Brutus Monroe project or your own ending. I appreciate you all more than you'll ever know. I will see you all very, very soon. Remember to grab whatever you would like for the next hour and 15 minutes uh, from the, um, the next hour and 15 minutes from the warehouse sale because that is when everything is going to poof, disappear. So just as a heads up, everything will disappear at um, approximately around 1130. Uh, so even if you have stuff in your cart that you're trying to purchase, it will change over while it's in your cart. So just try to get everything done or ordered by 1130 Eastern Standard Time just to be safe. Thank you all so much. I love you to pieces and I'll see you all soon. Good night, my friends.